Hello and welcome back to my channel, Miami Star Tarot. I am Natalia Roos and I am going to be doing a an August 2020 love reading for Scorpios. I am going to use as the tar for the tarot deck, I am using Legacy of the Divine Tarot, a gorgeous deck gift from my sister. <clears throat> my sister, I don't know if that all came out, Melanie. And the Angel Answers Oracle to help with the reading. Now this deck of oracles was at a print or they were out of them, but they're back on Amazon. If you have had your eye on these and you noticed they were gone, they are back. So I got those, very happy with them. I am going to start um, the read with the Angel Oracles. I'm gonna adjust my camera so you can see the cards that I pull. I will be doing a six card spread with one oracle. And let's see what we have for Scorpios for August 2020. I'm hoping the cards do show. It's so hard to see with the glare. All right, so Scorpio 2020, for August 2020, what is in store for you as far as love goes? I'm going to be hoping I get some jumpers here. Oh, I got two jumpers. All right, Scorpio, you get two. Get more information and know. All right, so possibly there's your answer. <laughs> Even though it says get more information. But okay, I will put those aside and we'll see what that is all about. I've never had the no or the yes come Oh yeah, I had a yes come up, but let's see what that's about. All right, let me make sure the camera's at a good angle. And again, I am doing jumpers. I will be doing six cards. What is going on here for Scorpio for August 2020 when it comes to love? And I'm hoping to get some new cards that I haven't pulled yet from this deck because I've had these cards for not oh, too long, maybe a little under two weeks and a lot of cards I have not pulled yet. All right, so one more. Let's do one more and then I will shuffle for jumpers for Scorpio, August 2020. Okay, so get more information and a flat out no. So be thinking of your questions here, Scorpio. Think of your questions. I got two, Scorpio. We have the Ten of Cups and the Fool. Ten of Cups and the Fool. I need a couple more cards to have some ideas. Now the Ten of Cups is a beautiful card. It is almost like the happy ending card. And as you can see in this deck, the Legacy of the Divine, it shows a kitty cat and a dog in front of a fireplace. Um, very content and happy, happy life. And that really is what the Ten of Cups represents. Cups are about love, um, emotions and feelings, and just the general feeling of being um, in love. And so it looks, it shows contentment. I'm also seeing a Pisces there. And I'm seeing Mars energy as well. Okay, so they've got the Two of Swords. All right, so it looks to me, just by having the Fool, I mean the Ten of Cups, the Fool, and the Swords, is that you have, I think you have a good thing going, Scorpio. I think you have, um, you're content at home. You've got something going on that's really good, but it looks like you are possibly in the process of making a choice, okay? And making a choice that does not require your heart. It's, I guess that wouldn't be the best way to make the choice is your heart. That or you are choosing to make a choice without using your heart, okay? So let's see what is going on, what you need more information about, where eventually it's gonna lead to a no. It's either way you're contemplating about something, and I'm getting a Libra energy also from the Two of Swords, as you can see in that 
card, that person is wearing a necklace with the Libra sign on it. So I don't know, there could be a Pisces or a Libra involved, Can uh, Scorpio. Sorry, I just did Cancers. So think about that. Is there somebody that you know that could be either a Pisces, a Libra, or somebody that maybe has some very strong Mars energy? I'm not getting any more jumpers here. I want to know what that decision is. Like you're contemplating something. And you're getting information, obviously. I'm having a hard time with the jumpers here. It's easier when I just lay them out quicker, but sometimes I just feel like it has to be the jumpers. And today's one of those days where the jumpers are going to give me the best read right now. All right, so what decision? And the decision is does not seem like it's... I don't want to say that it's not a wise decision, but you're definitely looking at something. It could also be someone's looking at it. Uh, the person in your life is doing this. Like, it, roles can be reversed. So I guess it'd be more accurate to say that it's. it feels like you have a good thing going at home. But somebody is... Uh, currently looking for something new or contemplating something new. Um, you also have the Eight of Coins, which is about hard work and about putting effort in. So there's definitely some effort going on in there, and I'm not sure if that effort is about the decision or could just be the effort of gathering information as well. So let's see, Scorpio, what we get. Oh, I got the two cards. Okay. All right, cups. Lots of cups here. You have the Eight of Cups. And you also have the Six of Cups. Okay. So, and I'm also, I'm getting some more Pisces energy here. So I've got Pisces here. I've got Pisces here. So, I mean, there is definitely, um, I'm trying to say that you are making a decision. Maybe you, for some of you, I'm not saying this is for all of you, but I'm thinking that for some of you, you may have your eye on somebody. And even though things are, you know, they're pretty good at home, Scorpio, you've got your eye on somebody and you're thinking of, of I don't know, of maybe making a jump Maybe you're putting some effort in trying to decide if this person is someone that you want to pursue with this Eight of Coins. Or you're uh, maybe planning on how you're going to walk away. It just, Scorpio, I hate saying it, but you are the other person. There is a possibility that you are contemplating leaving behind something and pursuing the Six of Cups, which... You know, it's, it's about family, it's about um, soulmates, and could also be somebody from your past, Scorpio, that maybe is coming around again, and you are very much trying to make a decision, and you're trying to decide if this person, whoever you're with now, which looks like you have a happy home here, with, and then you have the Eight of Cups, that you may potentially be thinking of leaving this behind to pursue this right here, which is the Six of Cups, okay? And, you know, you have the Eight of Coins here, which is the eight, same as the Eight of Pentacles, which leads, leads me to believe that you're really, like I said, getting more information with this Angel Answers. Uh, maybe you're trying to decide if it would be a wise move on your part. Maybe you're trying to investigate this person because it could be a person from your past as well, okay? And, you know, maybe you're just trying to gather information to see if this person is someone that you want to abandon your current situation for. You know, exes sometimes bring with them a feeling of nostalgia, like you you look back and you have these happy memories with this person. Of course, you broke up for a reason, so, you know, the bad memories are there too. But it's really easy to get caught up, especially if you've been married for a while, to get caught up with past relationships of people that 
just hold a little place in your heart because we all have those people that we've loved in the past and you know despite the breakup you still have those happy memories with them and in this case I can't be absolutely positive Scorpio but because you do have that no card in this case I almost feel like this person is a no <laughs> It is not worth leaving your current situation. I'm gonna slide them up just a little bit more to make sure you can see them. That this person is a no. It's not a person you want to uh, pursue and leave behind what you have. Now, I did pull a clarifier and I got the Nine of Swords, which is the card of nightmares, anxiety, guilt, and bad feelings, depression. And by pulling this card right now, I can tell you that it probably is a no. Okay, I feel Scorpio that you are getting caught up in memories and nostalgia and maybe in your current relationship you're a little bit bored and you know what it happens to everybody you might be just a little bit bored and looking for something to spark your heart again or put a little bit of life back into you and it looks to me like this honestly like people come and go in our lives and if you do have someone in mind someone that's moved back in town someone that's just contacted you i personally don't think it's a good idea but again scorpio that's the decision you are going to have to make okay you don't want to leave behind i'm getting the feeling that it's not a good idea to leave behind what you have right now for something that just popped up and maybe looks good for the moment okay because you will, with this Eight of Cups, be abandoning them, giving up something that in the end you might regret. Okay, Scorpio? So in the love department, I would say it's a no. I agree with the angel answers. All right, Scorpio, thank you for visiting my channel, Miami Star Tarot, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.